Welcome back to Daytona for the second event. Although we're gonna go Daytona a couple more times, but that'll be late in the season somewhat. So, Robbie Nozer, Senior, Nate Shipmunk, top two of each other, front row starters. It's a cloudy day today, and we're hoping for a good one here. And uh, number 40, Rob Robinson, trying to make history twice to win the first three Super Speedway. Excluding the uh, Super Speedway division, that doesn't count, obviously. That. Yeah, so he trying to get, trying to be the first to win the first three Super Speedway races and to win two Daytona races. No one has ever won two Daytona races in one season. As you know, most of the regular season, like the Cup Nationwide. Of course, no one has ever won twice at Daytona. But the Robbie Nozer Sr. starting on the pole, the five, Nate Shimonk in second. Race Daytona Day again. Classic Daytona where there's no Sunoco, no 76. Catch wrenches are low, walls look old, grass only doesn't even have the logo. But uh, here we go. Getting ready for the green. There it is, green flag. Hopefully we can get another good race here at Daytona. Good start by the 13. He got off to a good start. The 98 did not. There goes Will Burns. He's trying to make it three wide. He's gonna make it three wide. There's gonna be a couple of cars gonna follow him. The 07. Looks like he's actually looking to the inside just a little bit. There ain't no room here. Three wide for the lead, looks like. Only four cars on the bottom, but it's working. Maybe not for long. Whoa, contact! Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. How many cars is it going to take out? It's going to take out a couple. I forgot to turn smoke back on, but... Cars scattered all over the place. I wouldn't call it the big one, but the caution comes out on lap one. Will Burns, I believe, will lead under this caution flag. We'll take a look at what happened. You see everyone just scattering all over the place. And look at this. The 13 was able to save that. But the 07 skid up the track. Took out a couple of cars. He was able to run away. Look at the 74. Took one hard hit. However, Austin Mongold, he didn't look like he hit hard, but he needed a tow truck to get to tow him back to this pit stall. You can see his car is just stopped. I don't know why, but he just had to get towed. So lots of cars scattering all over the place. The 19's all the way down there. No one's been down there ever. But uh, we'll take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready for the green. 23 cars left. Wow. A couple of those drivers that actually sustained a lot of damage. Hmm. So, I'm guessing you could call that the medium one, maybe, not the big one. Okay, maybe the big one. No, not really. No, it can't be. Pace fans in. It's got a lot of cars left. The big one has not struck yet. It's striked in the first Daytona event. Will it strike here today again? Most likely. Green flags out again. The 13 looked up to the outside, back to the inside. Did not lead the first lap. Will Burns did. Dirt track racer Will Burns. He's known for his dirt trackness. He held off Jacob Robinson at a Springfield, and man, he kept bumping and bumping. And he hanged on. That shows great dirt skills. Well, let's get back to the racing action here. Prime Minister now trying to take the lead. Brendan Nicholas has no help, somewhat, but their help's on the way. 102 Ash Kurt, I mean, no, Austin Plant able to be in this race because it's Daytona did not qualify for the last race and three wide to the line who's gonna lead this lap that's the 32 car just by nose wow that's crazy oh Brendan Nicholas now takes the lead where is his rival not in this pack I see where is he there he is 
got some of that from the wreck in the 40 car also trailing. Looks like he will not be able to sweep Daytona or win the first three. He won the first two at least. Let's back, get back to the pack again. Looks like I want to go four wide. Four wide ain't going to work. There goes the 13. Nope. Got a couple of them. 40 goes through the grass. The 41 gets collected. A couple of cars. Not a lot though, but the caution is out again. Brandon is the leader. Second caution of the day. Let's take a look at what happened. You knew they were going to wreck. Look at Will Burns. I don't know what he was in. He just went out of line. The five followed him. And then they didn't. The top two didn't. I don't know. This time the 13 couldn't escape. Last second hit. Couldn't save it. The 102 did. Well, got more then spun out again. Look at the 40 going through the grass. But look at the 41 though. He got into the 66. Spun him around. Putting more damage on that car. So small wreck. Big one has not striked yet. We'll take you back. Getting ready for the green once again. 19 cars left. A couple of cars actually wrecked under a caution. The 13 is out. The 77 wrecked. The 102 heavy damage. The 41 with heavy damage. So I'm guessing the first caution could be considered as a big one. But we could have a bigger wreck with these 19 cars. Not even reached halfway yet. And we had a lot. Of, we only have 19 drivers left. How many drivers can win this thing? I have a chance to win this thing. I'm not sure. But uh, pace cars in. Green flag. Got a couple cars dropping down to the line. Sam Curtis, no one's going. Now the 19 and the 32 go. Brandon up front. Rick Longold in second. Third Colin Martell, but he might have that spot taken away by Brian Minister. There goes the Ricky Ward on the inside. This is some classic Daytona racing. This is how they did it in the old days. Somewhat. Side by side for Lee, Britt Mongols has it just by nose, Brit, uh, Prime Minister, gonna make it 3 wide, who's gonna go, the 11, 12, 19, 24, where's Fisher, I know Fisher's in this pack and all his rivals are in the same pack with him, 3 wide to the line, who led that lap, 32 just did, look at that, how, well that was close, That's, that could be perfect for a 3 wide finish, 51 back to the lead, I believe, or one, I don't really know, that's how close they are, they're still racing that close, and oh, there goes the 7, oh, there we go, there goes the 19, oh, they're going for that hill, they're going for that hill, both the Curtis brothers, and the 12 gets into the water, he's in the water, he's in the water, and he's still rolling, these clouds, cars have that flotation cheat, the 11 escaped, he glitched right through that hill, the 19 got some caution out again. I believe. Yes, yes, it is. yes, it is. Brit Mongold up in front. Let's take a look. Oh, look at this. Fisher might have set that thing up purposely, turning Colin Martell into those drivers. And both the Curtis brothers, he's just hoping, like, oh, go over the hill, go over the hill. But they're this hill, glitchy hill. That's just texture, is not the real thing. The 11 was uh, able to escape, but then the 12, for the first time ever, someone got put in the water out here at Lake Lloyd. Is that how, it, is that how it's pronounced? I don't know. Real white people words. But luckily, whoever designed this track made the water shallow, allowing Sam Curtis just to drive away. Let's take you back. Alright, here we go. 19 drivers still remaining on the track. The 12. It's okay, the 11's okay, 19, okay. Those two Curtis brothers. They're running up front. Joseph have not, both of them don't have a, not having a good season, I don't believe. Here we go. His fan is in, going in. Britt Mongold's the leader. Still got more than 10 to go. Who's it gonna be? Who's gonna win it? Still a lot of time. Anyone with a fast car can do it. Go 
goes to one of Brandon Nicholas on the low side. Grimaldo might go to the low side. She's in the middle. Nope, it's gonna allow the one to go right by. Brandon trying to take the lead. Some help. And the 51 back up front. By half a car length. There goes the 58. There goes the 226. He didn't want to help. They're gonna try to go four wide. I don't think it's gonna work though. He's got no drafting partner, so don't think it's going to be an issue, but look how close they are. They're beating the man in the tank. Dayton, they're still going at it. This will be amazing as well for the finish, and then Brit Mongo leads that lap. Four wide, four wide. I think that should be okay here. Five clears the 58. The 58 got no help. Northbrook's for a winner. We'll be trying to get his first win here at Daytona. I think we only had one rookie win at Daytona before, that was a long, long time ago. That driver is no longer active. Britt still got the lead. There's Curtis back there trying to swap. Fisher trying to push the one. Who's going to follow Fisher? No one. Actually, yes, someone. Brandon now goes to the high side. He blocks. That's what he wanted. It goes back to the bottom. 11 to go. Fisher trying to get some help from three other cars behind him. But, Brandon's got the whole pack helping him. He's just blocking everything. That's how he's getting all that help. But here comes Fisher again. He's going to block. He wants to, but he can't. Actually, he can, but he decides not to. Allowing Brit Mongold and Ryan Mister getting the run off that, off turn two. Three wide. Fisher on the bottom trying to... Still trying to get that lead. Everything seems to be a bit more calm now. We're going to come to 10 to go here. Hopefully it doesn't rain. The 9 is still trying to get that lead. He has help and he takes it. Got the 58 and the 226. Fitzwater and Needham. Right there. Whoa! Those two drivers on the apron. You can do that if you want to. Four wide. There they go. Four wide. The 32 squeezes right by. That's well, like the last couple laps. He was behind the one and now he's gone right by the one. Even though I don't even know what I'm saying. Fisher trying to squeeze in. He takes the 51 and the 58 out. The leaders right in front of the pack. Who avoids it? A couple of cars avoid it. Oh my god. What was going on? Why did Fisher just do that? He did it at Daytona, and they're not even rivals, but uh, let's take a look at, what, uh, at the wreck. I don't know if Fisher just decided to... He had room on top, Well, he, but then until it closed up, I don't know what happened. He just took the 32 out. He could have just held his line, and luckily it wasn't a huge wreck. Those drivers over there avoided it. Got right by, no one else involved, only these two drivers. And I don't know if their chance of winning this race because they got go from the back. That five is all the way down there. And, and well, what don't matter. But the two cars who had a chance to win this thing got turned by the number nine. Well, you could say Fisher is now the veteran, uh, the villain instead of a hero. Let's take you back. Something odd just happened. The 66, 58, and 32 are out for some reason. They didn't have a lot of damage, but we're going to restart at 5 to go. Pace fans in. I'm guessing they just don't want to... I guess they're just pissed off. They don't want to race no more. It's going to be waiting for Fisher in the next one. Green flag. Look at that one. Just flew. Just shot like shot off a cannon. Right there. Brit Mongo hanging on the second. That one just had... Just had same kind of start that Rob Robinson had in the first event. And look at the 11. He's finally caught his way back up. He knows that Fisher caused that wreck. All those last two wrecks, he almost went into the water. And he's right there. He has Will Burns right behind. The only one this pack looks like can win this thing. It's been short just a little bit, but we still got a lot of action left. No more cautions, hopefully. Colin Martell does not gonna help the 51 don't think that's a smart move there and whoa 
Trying to block. These drivers didn't go all out. They don't care. At any point, at, a t at any point, this thing could end. And unless they put that white flag right there. Britt Mongo getting a heavy push from Ash Curtis. Two of those drivers looking for their first win of the season and first in this series as well. Ash Curtis lays off. The one still leads. You gotta have that draft right there. I think someone's gonna help Ash Curtis. Whoa, contact there. They're still beating a bang like this is a short track. They're gonna try to go four wide. And he blocks. Three to go. Three more laps. It's still a big it's still a big battle right here. Britt Marshall just left that. Uh, wow, two one thousand of a second. Hopefully it's gonna be that close when they cross that line with the checker flag out. No help. Ash Curtis now goes up. Brandon now is taking the lead. Ash goes back down. He has help from Colin Martell. Fisher's a little way back, just a little bit. And there's Joseph Curtis. Ew, whoa, he lays off. He lays him off. Three wide for the lead. Ash Curtis taking over. But he's going to lead that lap. Is he? Oh, uh, nope, nope, nope. The one's going to get it. The one, you think so? Yep, yeah, I think so. How close was that? Wow. Two laps left there at Daytona. Look at that. Convertible. Close up. The seven's gotten the run. He's trying to get another win. He scored another victory at Pocono. Yeah, it's Pocono, right? Come on, guys. You could take the white flag here. Ash Curtis has a lot of help, but the one is so strong up on top. How is he hanging on with no help at all? And look at that. Britt Mongo now in the middle with no help. Who's going to go in the middle? But she still got the lead. But Ash Curtis now takes over. Almost takes over. Try to go four wide here. White flag. One more lap to go. It's all down to this. Ash Curtis is still blocking. He's blocking the seven. He's trying to hang on. Curtis trying to win. Mongo trying to win. Nicholas is trying to win. And oh, there goes Needham. There they go. There they go. Three car battle here. And a wreck at the end. But of course, you know it's the white flag here. They're still spinning out there. And oh, heavy damage. Fisher's out. He couldn't finish. Colin Martel's just slammed into him. Oh, Britt Mongo just cleared those drivers. How does she do that? She's going to come off the final corner and win this race. Oh, man. That could have been a good, cool photo finish. But checkered flag. Britt Mongo wins at Daytona. Wow, that was crazy. But official results after race, after this race, uh, yeah, after Daytona. I don't know what's going on. Britt Mongold wins at Daytona, scores her first victory of the season. Top four, five, six, I believe. So I don't even know who needs to score a win. I think it's the whole top six drivers. I have to go check back. But Ash Curtis was so close, but I don't know what got them separated. They were going three wide. The 51 just shot off. I thought the one was pretty good on the high side. But uh, he finishes third. Joseph Curtis came back, finished fourth. Fifth, Chris Kyle, sixth. Sam Curtis, seventh. Ashley Mongold, eighth. Will Burns, ninth. Sam McMillan, and tenth, Nate Chimunk. Timothy Needham turned around Fisher, caused a huge wreck. Took out Patrick Mew, Colin Martell, Fisher. And they all was going to battle for that win. I'm glad they just, at least they wrecked once they, once they took the white flag. But, there's your race at Daytona for the second event. We'll see you for the third one. But right now, we're going to go back to those local tracks. I believe. Why am I doing it with LCQ? 